In today's video, we are going to talk all about how to use USB-C to run higher refresh rate monitors. And the quick answer to the question whether you can run a 144 Hz or higher monitor with USB-C is that absolutely yes, you can. But the longer answer is that we're going to check what you need to do it and the settings you need to apply in your PC or Mac respectively to make it work. The first thing you will need to make this work is a computer with a USB-C port. This you probably already know because you clicked on this video because you want it to work with your computer that has a USB-C port. This is the USB-C port and it could be Thunderbolt or non-Thunderbolt. The important thing is that it has display port out. So there are some USB-C ports that only come with power or only data transfer. And it needs to be a DisplayPort enabled USB-C port for this stuff to work. The second thing you need is the right cable. You need of course your USB-C connector on one end, but then you need a DisplayPort on the other end. And you cannot do this with any other form of cable than DisplayPort cable. However, DisplayPort cables can come in a few different configurations. You can either run this, which is a full-size DisplayPort, you can run a mini DisplayPort, or you can run a USB-C to USB-C cable that still is able to transfer DisplayPort signal. In the case of the monitor we will be using today, it only has a DisplayPort in, and therefore this is the kind of cable required for my setup to work. This monitor we're going to use has an array of different inputs. We have the DisplayPort right there, then we have a VGA port, we have a DVI port, and we have an HDMI port. So we are going to use the DisplayPort for this setup to work. Then you plug in your USB-C cable. The PC will make a little noise and then it will start feeding the monitor signal over to the external monitor. However, right now we have the settings that it will duplicate the monitor. And this is usually what happens, so you have to right click the desktop and go into the display settings and then change here from duplicate display into extend these displays. Then this will be perfectly set up with an individual display. However, it will usually not be set to the full refresh rate. So there's one more step you need to do, which is scroll down here and go to advanced display. When you are at advanced display, you just click that and then you will have choose a refresh rate as one of the options. Make sure that you have selected the display 2, which in this case is the external monitor. And then you can switch it from 60 hertz all the way up to 144 hertz. It will then reset the monitor and then ask you if you want to keep your changes. And this we want to do because now we are all set up to run this monitor in 144 Hz as a proper gaming monitor, for example. What about if you are running a Mac? This is very similar. You will just plug the Mac in with the USB-C cable. This is my MacBook Pro 14 with the M1 Pro chip. In this case, it is a similar thing where you will have to bring up the display settings and in the display settings, you will have to choose the external monitor, scroll down a little bit to the refresh rate option. Here you will switch the refresh rate from 60 Hertz up to 144 Hertz. This one will reset and then it is all good to run 144 Hertz. So it is a very simple process regardless if you are on Mac or PC. And you are all set to do your test if you want to. Bring up a browse window and then you Google test refresh rate. And the refresh rate test is called the UFO test. And bringing this over here, you can see that it says it's 144 Hertz. That's all for this topic and if you want more of this stuff please subscribe to the channel. There will be a few more videos coming up on this topic over the next few weeks. I'm W2Best, I make in-depth gear reviews and tutorials and I will see you in the next video. Have a nice day. Bye bye.